Hey everyone, welcome back to Everyday EV. For today's video, I have more of an informational storytelling style video for you guys. I recently picked up our 2019 Chevy Bolt EV from the service center. It had been sitting there for about six weeks. And during that time period, we had an open recall completed. The driver's seat was supposed to be replaced for a fourth time, as well as some software checks because our DC fast charging speeds were not what we were expecting during the cold temperatures. So when we got our vehicle back, we noticed that there was something different on this vehicle. And this is what I wanna to talk to you guys about. Today's video is not exposing anything. It's not an expose. I will not, name, I will not be name dropping any service centers, any workers that I've talked to, um, but I will be discussing some of my experience with Chevy's customer service and hopefully informing other Bolt EV drivers and potential owners that this could be happening to you guys as well. And you may have no idea that this is happening. That's what happened to me. I was not told, and um, I want to tell you guys about this. So let's just start from the beginning. We took our Bolt EV into the service center on January 10th, at the beginning of January, for an open Fuse Rayleigh recall that was open in summer of 2020. And if you guys don't know what that recall is, pretty much if you don't have it installed in your vehicle, the Bolt can pretty much lose power at any given moment. So Chevy needed to replace that fuse. Our driver's seat needed to be replaced again for a fourth time. And as I mentioned before, we were seeing slower than usual DC fast charging speeds. And yes, I know it's winter time, but I did get that DC fast charging robustness software update installed on our 2019 Bolt. So I just wanted to make sure that everything was good, everything was set, and you know, I just wanted to get it checked out. So when we took our car in on January 10th, we were not expecting it to take about six weeks before we saw our car again in our driveway. So pretty much during that time, there is a large amount of part shortages. So we couldn't get the driver's seat totally replaced yet. We have to bring that back in. Um, the fuse relay recall was completed and the uh, software check for the DC fast charging robustness was completed as well. Now the thing is, is that while they were checking the software for the DC fast charging robustness software update, they also installed the battery recall that my vehicle does not qualify for. As you guys may know, there is an open recall for 2017 through 2019 Bolt EVs where GM is placing a software restriction to where it cannot charge more than 95% state of charge just to protect the battery pack and make sure everything is good. So now this is why I'm recording this video. So this software update and the recall was completed on my vehicle without me knowing. I actually was not disclosed this by the service center. When I got into the vehicle, I just wanted to make sure everything was good. So I went into the menu where you can set the state of charge limit. And that's when I saw that my bolt could not charge more than 95%. So I immediately knew that something was up. Um, I knew that from my friend's experience and from other owners, I've seen what it looks like when you try to increase more than 95% state of charge. It doesn't let you. So I immediately knew that that software update was installed on my vehicle. So obviously I was very upset about this and I took um, I went home immediately. I thought maybe GM expanded the scope of the software recall or the battery recall. And I didn't see my VIN number on the NHTSA's website. I didn't see it on Chevy's or General Motors website, nothing. All I saw was that my fuse relay recall had been completed. So immediately I knew that something was up. Like obviously they didn't disclose this with me. This was something that was concerning to me that they may not be telling other owners that they're doing this. And in fact, that's what's happening. I went to, um, I ended up calling customer service, uh, Chevy's customer service. And I will tell you their customer service is not the best. Um, they told me that they would reach out to the service center and they never did. Uh, nobody got back to me through Twitter. It was just back and forth, back and forth. And it was just a very long ordeal over the past few weeks trying to figure out what had happened to our car. So finally, I got a hold of the service director at the service center that I took our Bolt to. And that's when I was disclosed information that my car got that software update. So pretty much what they're doing is that if you bring your car in for anything that's software related, 
whatever software update that General Motors has released recently gets put on your vehicle. And what happens to be the most recent software update? The software battery recall. And that's what gets put on these vehicles. So from my understanding, there are brand new bolts sitting out on the dealership lot and those have been restricted to 95% as well. It seems like Chevy is doing more of a blanket coverage for this recall and they're not necessarily disclosing it to consumers. And that's one thing that I think is wrong and I think that that's one thing that needs to be addressed. Um, as you guys know, our ownership experience has not really been the best. It's been very up and down over the past two years. And this one kind of just, you know, topped it all off. Um, I genuinely love driving this car as a commuter vehicle. It's a fantastic car. But the main reason I'm recording this video is that I want to inform current Bolt EV owners as well as future potential Bolt EV owners, especially with the newer vehicles coming out, that you may run into an issue similar to what I ran into with my vehicle. Um, and I also really just want to, um, you know, kind of talk about this information and provide it to you guys as well as General Motors if they end up watching this video to make their vehicles better. I want to see their electric vehicles improve. I really want General Motors to succeed. But the thing is, is that if you put software on a vehicle without disclosing that to the consumer, that immediately makes them lose confidence in your product. And I know for me, it definitely makes me question whether or not I will buy another General Motors vehicle, uh, especially if they do software updates like that. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it's been informational for you. And if you have any questions or if you are a current Bolt EV owner or a potential Bolt, Bolt EV owner, let me know in the comments section if you guys have any questions or concerns regarding my experience with the software recall. I'd definitely love to start a conversation. And if you haven't yet, make sure you like and uh, share this video with your friends. And make sure you subscribe to the Everyday EV. There's gonna be some exciting electric vehicle content coming out soon. And I definitely appreciate every subscriber. Well, I hope you guys are taking care, staying safe, and I hope you make every single day electrifying. See you guys.